welcome to Stars and Scopes with your friend Uma. Now the moon is full in Pisces and Mercury goes retrograde in Libra on Saturday the 10th of September. So I thought rather than let the messages get lost in astrological translation, it'd be better if we sat cross-legged in my room with a candle in our jammies and I gave you a good old-fashioned tarot reading instead. Let's drop into our intuition. Let's explore dreamland together and let's get Pisces. Let's get psychic. <laughs> if you'd like to support the work, you can always head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Uma Ruby and put some money in the tip jar. But other than that, relax and let's see what happens. G'day Taurus. I see that you need to emotionally regulate and to put up some boundaries. I feel that there has been a lot of tugs to that part of your life, to your emotional body, your water. And Spirit's saying to you, it's probably good to really call on the energy of temperance, that balance. Now, temperance doesn't say that we can't do one or the other. You know what I mean? It's the, the alchemy of balancing water and fire, earth and air. But it's not doing one or the other. It's not cutting off emotionally in order to deal. It's having both active, but sort of working together in order to move forward. There's a passionate vibe that I'm getting there's something that's really bubbling over when think about when water gets hot you know it starts to bubble that's what I feel for you at the moment Taurus there's some boiling points maybe about to be reached here and what I reckon might be a good thing to do is to not take on more I don't know if you're especially raw right now which means that you're perhaps absorbent as well you know you sort of got your cup sort of open enough that people start starting to pour in to yours there's enough going on in your water body in your emotions right now that you really need to start filing through and sorting out and 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 looking at that maybe it's the probably a good time not to yeah, to put those boundaries up a little bit and not to cut people off or to send them away, but not to take on more than you can handle at present. I think that there's something, yeah, like half formed as far as a concept or, uh, yeah, as far as uh, something at this... You're vulnerable right now, Taurus, and, and you're also handling it. You know, you've got a lot of things to handle. So for other folks to come into your life and to need, you know, that shoulder to cry on or that ear to bend or everything like that, all in good time. But at the moment, I think let's focus more in on what is this fire water problem? What's going on here that is being that has a threat of sort of turning into like some sort of emotional tax. I feel that someone's been dishonest with you and I think that you know. I think that I'm getting a sense that there's... Yeah, not the whole truth has been told about something that might be to do with this 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 emotional work that you're in, involved in right now. Something, there was a conversation that you had or there was an interaction with someone that you really care about and it left you feeling like, oh, what does that mean? Or how does that, what relevance does that have to what I was talking about? Someone's got more to say and I think that we can trust them too. I think that I don't believe that 
it's someone that is lying to you, but there's def- they're definitely editing. They're definitely not saying the whole bit. I think that as you move on with this, you're going to learn that this person is quite intelligent and that they have really been ruminating over something in particular and they've been trying to strategize and figure out exactly what to say and how to say it so in order not to emotionally burden you or overload you or or give you too much to to worry about or to to be sad about so they've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes this um this energy of of deletion or subtraction isn't because they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes or trying to deceive you in any way i think that they're really maybe a bit clunky with their editing because they don't want to hurt you they can see that you are quite raw at the moment i'm going to pull some more cards and we'll see what else we can get from this spirit what else can you tell me about this king of swords energy what's going on i got the nine of pentacles and the knight of wands you may find that You may find that this King of Swords, Aquarian, Libran, Gemini energy doesn't have to be any of those signs, but that's the sort of, that's the persona, that's that's the way that this person operates is from the brain first. They're very intellectual, they're very uh, cerebral about their experience of reality and they have queries or questions or reservations about someone else in your life who is probably a little bit more fire driven who is very active in their passions quite a creative type and your relationship with them or your kind of allegiance with them and their their philosophy their 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 ideology there's maybe you've been offered something by someone who is quite gregarious and quite forward moving and and quick to action and quick to create very inspired type person that this other energy in your life this the the king of swords is skeptical of it could even be an idea that you've had that is sort of as if you know touched by the hand of spirit or an angel that you've gone okay this is going to be a really great for me this is actually really uh self-actualizing i feel that this is going to set me up and put me in a really great position of abundance and and a space where i can rest and a space where i can be proud of myself and and Yeah, I think that probably what you're being advised in this reading to do is to really balance those emotions. And I think as this king has been trying to do, and quite sloppily, so well, not sloppily at all, but quite quite um, to their detriment, it feels like they're lying to you or it feels like they're, they're hiding something or they're not saying what it is that they really think, which in a lot of ways they are not saying what they really think yet because they're still processing it, they're still working it over. The Nine of Pentacles is like, that's where you want to be, Taurus. That's That would be the, the, the ultimate goal, right? That's, you know, living off grid with the veggie garden, out in the bright sunshine with not a care in the world. This is stability. This is ground up abundance. This is sort of cultivated wealth and uh, material success, but also in a way that can regenerate and sort of uh, survive off itself. I wonder if you've, yeah, I wonder if there's, there's someone in your, 
energy that's sort of moving very quickly and very passionately and very fiery, they're, they've, they're quite charming and they've sort of got it all figured out and they're moving ahead. I wonder if they're moving ahead too soon or I wonder if there's, there's a, a steadier pace that we can maintain or we can establish here that's going to have success in the long term. Remember, this is temperance. This is our major secret for this reading. So that is about fire and water, and that is about doing both, but it's about measuring one with the other in order to meld them together and have them work with one another. I think that what I'm really seeing for you here, Taurus, is that there's multiple influences in your life at the moment from all different directions and they all want what's best for you and they're all invested in you and your life and your success and happiness but what you really need to do is uh first of all listen to this listen to this intellectual listen to this brain this this um cerebral person because they're doing a lot of a lot of thinking and a lot of calculating and sums and everything else like that. This could be a side of you, although I think that it might be someone in your surroundings because it's all well and good to follow the night. But you've got to make sure that, you know, you, you, you know where you're going. You've got to make sure that there's enough to keep you sustained for the next the next bit and if we're talking about emotions if we're talking about your water your your you know your sort of uh physical what am i trying to say we're talking about your heart really that's that's the the core essence of this reading is that it, it it's feeling like I'm, my neck is sort of tightening up everything's feeling quite emotional and you know this is there's there's positive movement here and there's sort of you know you you sort of you're wanting to express and 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 work with this 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 passion but there's someone that you wish was excited for you as as you are and then they don't appear to be they don't appear to be as excited as you are and you're thinking to yourself, well, they're, they're, they're hiding something from me or they, they think that I'm a moron or they don't believe me or they don't think that this is the right thing to do and that's having you second guess yourself and your and your choices and it's affecting you in an emotional way. You're getting really worked up by it. You're feeling uh, responsible. You're feeling guilt. You're feeling shame, which is kind of not yours to carry anymore here. I think that... I'm going to get some more cards, actually. But what could, Spirit, what can you tell me about this Nine of Pentacles? What is this in regard to? Got the Ace of Cups. I got the Queen of Cups and I got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so this is... Yeah, this is... Ah... Oh. This is, as far as you can see it, this is like the beginning of a brand new emotional, like, like adventure. There's an offer here that sort of seems to be coming direct from the universe to you. It's a way of like expressing yourself emotionally that you have never been able to do before. It's come at the cost of something quite severe of like an ending, a uh, uh, real roundup of a prior way of being that has, you know, a lot of grief around it. There's a lot of, I can see here, there's a lot of grief. There's a lot of, you know, it's sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's sort of like, that's it. That's the end of the cycle. It's also the end of an anxious cycle of, 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 of a difficult period of bad mental health as well. And so this newfound grounded embodied version of you is bringing with it a brand new emotional start a brand new access 
to your emotions and to the way that you can feel and express yourself and, and, and love as well. It's almost like a brand new relationship in a lot of ways. So I think, I think that this King of Swords knows it as well, but they are not into this quick moving, this, yeah, this, this obnoxious, almost quick moving, um, charming kind of, kind of vibe that's going on. This change means a great deal to you Taurus and I support you in that and I think that I think that the king does as well but you've got to stop second guessing about their honesty if they're lying to you or if they're not telling you if they think you're a twit or whatever it is because they don't but they're really being very mindful and very considerate so as not to hurt you because they can see how much this shift means to you so I think at this Pisces full moon, I would encourage you to connect with them and to, to, to share and to also wait, you know, to wait. No, you don't need another emotional burden. You don't need another heartbreak to pile onto your back here or another thing to worry about. Give your heart a break at this Pisces full moon and trust that when the time is right and when this King of Swords has considered what it is that they're trying to con con conceive, then they'll bring it to you and you can both go from there. That's all I have to say, Taurus. I love you very much. Happy Pisces full moon. Bye. <laughs>